Namo Buddhaya, Namo Amitabhaya. Hello, everyone. So today I feel like sharing the rebirth case of my own grandma, Mai Bei Rong, who attained rebirth in the Pure Land at the age of 84 on 27th of April 2024. So this year, about four months ago. So why I only choose to share it now, because I've been super busy for the past few months, and now is the time. So a bit of background about my grandma. My grandma suffered from depression in her life, and she did not practice Nian for much, but she had faith and vow. So whenever I went back to China, usually I go back to China once a year, and whenever I went back, I would always tell her to Nian Fo, to recite the name of Amitabha Buddha, and to attain rebirth in the Pure Land. So whenever I went back and when I talked with her, she always told me how much suffering, how unhappy, unsatisfactory she was. And I told her, the only being that could save you is Amitabha Buddha. You need to recite his name and vow to attain rebirth in his pure land in order to transcend all sufferings in life. My grandma had good roots. She believed in me and she also practiced Nympho with me. However, my grandpa did not allow her to practice Nympho. So my grandpa is really my grandma's uh, karmic collector. I come to collect her karmic debt. So not only that, he prevented me from uh, talking about Buddhism with her, he also prevented me from uh, practicing Nympho with her, but I would still do it secretly, just behind his back. When me and my grandma are together, I will always tell her to Nympho, and we always practice Nympho together. And my grandma had good roots. She believed in Amitabha Buddha and she also wanted to go to the Pure Land. So whenever I tell her to Nianfo and to go to the Pure Land, I say Amitabha Buddha will definitely come to receive you. And she was always very happy to hear about that. So she had deep faith and vow towards seeking rebirth in the Pure Land, although she did not have much practice in her life. But it doesn't matter. As long as you have deep faith and vow, so whether you can go to the Pure Land depends on your faith and vow, and your grade of rebirth depends on your own needful practice. So with my grandma's case, it's actually important that uh, there was assisting Nianfo for her because her mind was not very clear, her practice was not so stable. So it's actually important that there were people who could be there to assist Nianfo for her. So about March this year, I had a dream or like a vision about my grandma that she was really not well and I felt this strong calling that I must go back to China to arrange the best condition for her rebirth. So I also pray for Amitabha Buddha, uh, please receive my grandma. I pray to Amitabha Buddha that I want to uh, set out the best, the right condition for her rebirth. So luckily my grandpa did not want to send my grandma to the hospital. My grandpa wanted my grandma to pass peacefully at home. And that was exactly what happened. So. A few months before my grandma's pass, she already uh, could not walk by herself. Right? She couldn't do anything by herself. Uh, we hired an auntie to look after her 24 hours. Although she couldn't talk, she couldn't walk, 
but I felt that she still understood what was going on. Like she had some level of understanding. So when I went back to China in April this year, I set up the right condition for her rebirth. So I prepared three new for machines. And those machines that will keep saying Ami To for in a slow pace. Uh, in case any of them were broken or ran out of battery. Um, so two Nianfo machines uh, that will run on battery and one a solo Nianfo machine. So uh, just in case anything might happen, we always have a backup machine that would recite Ami Tofa and to remind her to be mindful of Ami Tofa at the time of death. I also put another uh, Sutra talk machine by Master Renshan on the Infinite Life Sutra uh, where Master Renshan kept saying why it's important to go to the Pure Land, how wonderful the Pure Land is. So really to increase her faith and to deepen her vow towards attaining rebirth in the Pure Land. And whenever I was accompanying my grandma, I would always tell her to Remember Amitofo, I only Amitofo can save you. So this kind of guidance is actually important for beings at the time of death, I particularly if they don't have strong practice that their mind could be easily disturbed. It's important to give them this kind of guidance so to have them to give rise to the right mindfulness of Amitofo at the time of exit. 奶奶奶,你一定要念阿弥陀佛,现在只有阿弥陀佛可以救你,你要知道这世间一切都是假的,只有阿弥陀佛可以救你,去极乐世界,你要心里念阿弥陀佛啊,你的口念不出来,但我
and I was also uh, giving guidance and assisting him for uh, for my grandma. So I felt 12 hours after assisting him for my heart, I felt really, really like happy, like blissful. It's like I could almost see a vision that my grandma is sitting on a golden lotus that she had attained rebirth in the pure land. And I could also see that her face became even better 12 hours after her death or rebirth. So I had full confidence that my grandma could attain rebirth successfully in the Pure Land because she had deep faith and vow and also because we set out the right condition for her rebirth. There were so many people that were there to support Nianfo so my grandma could definitely give rise to the right mindfulness of Amitofa like even for 10 recitations or even one recitation if it is very pure. Uh, you will see Amitabha Buddha to come to receive you at the time of death. Uh, if you have faith and vow and you kneel for. So to attain rebirth is really, really simple. So I believe my grandma could attain rebirth successfully. And I also like to share a little bit. So my grandpa, I, as soon as I left for the China pilgrimage, my grandpa took away all the name for machine. He didn't want my grandma to hear Amitofo. I really, her karmic collector, her karmic predator. But my grandma also did not give him any opportunity. She left quickly after he took away all the name for machine. And at that time, my grandpa was quite panicked. He didn't know what to do when my grandma had stopped breathing. And I told my grandpa, I if you trust me, you just leave everything for me. I will arrange everything for my grandma. And my grandpa eventually said, okay, then we just follow what you wanted to do. So I could quickly, I told my auntie to take her all the name for machine to play next to my grandma and call all my Pure Land Lotus friends to go to support name for, for my grandma. So the whole procedure went out smoothly and my grandpa did not interrupt so I was also grateful for my grandpa who did not interrupt in the last minute so if any family member that interrupt the assisting info practice I it could disturb my grandma's right mindfulness so luckily my grandpa did not do any of that and he was also quite respectful when those people were there to uh, support uh, chanting to assist Nianfo for my grandma. And my uncle and auntie from Guangzhou wanted to come to see my grandma. So they were traveling from another city to my city and it would take them maybe eight hours to arrive. So I also prayed to Amitabha Buddha to not let them arrive so soon or they could disturb the process because they also did not understand it so much. I particularly my auntie, um, so <laughs> Amitabha Buddha arranged it perfectly. Their fast train to my city got delayed for three hours. So by the time they arrived, 12 hours had already passed. So I really trust that if you pray for Amitabha Buddha to arrange for the right condition for rebirth, Amitabha Buddha would do the best arrangement. So by the time they arrived, 12 hours had already passed. They could no longer disturb the process. And at that time in my city, it was 30 degrees in summer. It was extremely, extremely hot. But my grandma, after being left for 24 hours, so I insisted for them to support Nianfo for 24 hours to leave my grandma's um, body untouched for 24 hours and luckily everyone respected that although the other auntie wanted to uh, take my grandma's body uh, right away but I was like no you have to wait for 24 hours so luckily eventually everyone agreed and even the body was put there for 24 hours there was no unpleasant smell 
are usually for a dead body. If a dead body is left for so long, like one day and one night, there would be unpleasant smell. But there was no unpleasant smell, like nothing whatsoever. And after 24 hours, they changed for my grandma and all the muscles, and not only the muscles, the joints were completely soft. So this is really an auspicious sign for those who had attained rebirth in the Pure Land. At first they have faith and vow, and they were also Nianfo, or have the right condition. Uh, there were people who were there to support Nianfo, so the person could give rise to the right mindfulness to Amitabha. Uh, in the Amitabha Sutra, it says at the time of death, uh, one's mind is undiluted, and one could attain rebirth in the Pure Land. So my grandma had all of that and also for people who attain rebirth in the pure land there was no rigor mortis uh, the process of rigor mortis is usually when someone died the body will become like really stiff <laughs> why stiff because the being is scared of death is scared of the unknown when we are scared of something I, the unknown, like death, we will be really, really stressed and our muscles will be extremely tight. But for beings who attain rebirth in a pure land, this will not happen because they see Amitabha Buddha to come to receive them. They went to the pure land with joy, with bliss and completely relaxed. So that was what happened to my grandma not only her muscles were completely relaxed and soft, the joints, all the joints were soft. And this is really definitely an auspicious sign for those who attain rebirth in the pure land. Not only the muscles were soft, also all the joints, I absolutely everywhere, all the joints were soft. You can move it however way you like. This is really a sure sign for her to attain rebirth in the pure land and we also had a video about that. ที่โทรลอยยันโทรเรียนฟ้าจังไส้บังเกลันไส้กาฮิสิงปัจจุบะเฮซังสังเซไซมัวจวยอบนำหอบอย่างปูว่าโมเรียงจอมโมเรียง
So before my grandma passed away, her body was really, really stiff. I, even the auntie told us it was extremely difficult to change clothes for my grandma I, before she passed. But after rebirth, her body was completely soft. It was so easy to change clothes for her. Not only the muscles were soft, all the joints were soft. I, you would not see this for an ordinary death. Only for beings who attain rebirth in the pure land, you will see that not only the muscles are completely soft, even the joints everywhere, absolutely everywhere is soft. And my grandma's face looked even better 24 hours after her rebirth. So I was extremely happy when I saw that. And I knew that my grandma had definitely attain rebirth in the pure land and there was no doubt and after my pure land pilgrimage i went back to my city to visit my grandpa and i saw that he still had a bit of doubt he did not really understand so much about exactly what was going on so in my mind i had a thought like i told my grandma if you really go to the pure land please I show it to us. Uh, you need to also let my grandpa to know this is definitely real. So if she had attained rebirth in the pure land, she would know all the beings' thoughts in the ten directions, uh, according to Amitabha Buddha's 48 great vows. So I thought, Grandma, if you attain rebirth in the pure land, uh, please show it to us. We also need to let grandpa to believe in it. So. On that night, I had a dream. It's like a vision. First, I saw the three golden birds from the pure land. There are wonderful birds from the pure land, from this golden world. First, three golden birds that flew to me. And then there's this beautiful, beautiful bodhisattva in the body of gold, in beautiful garments, and sitting on a big golden lotus. And I knew that was my grandma. And my grandma, now a big body bodhisattva from the Pure Land, I came to me and I was chatting with my grandma. I was like, wow, grandma, you are so beautiful. You are a great bodhisattva now. And my grandma was smiling. And I said, but you need to let my grandpa to believe in it, to believe in the Pure Land so he could also go to the Pure Land. And my grandma said, yes, I will. And then this scenery disappeared quickly. And I woke up from this dream. But I knew it wasn't just an ordinary dream. It was really my grandma heard my message. And she came to visit me from the Pure Land. So this we also see in many cases from people who attain rebirth in the Pure Land. They could come back to manifest in your dream. And the next day, my grandpa also told me, he wished that he could die like my grandma, with no pain, no suffering. And my grandma really left with no pain and no suffering. And I tell my grandpa, well, you need to kneel for so you can attain rebirth in Amitabha Buddha's pure land. So now my grandpa was not so much against this idea anymore. Before he was really against this idea, he was really against Buddhism, he thought it was just mere superstition but now he kind of like took faith in Amitabha and he also chanted Amitabha occasionally so I trust that my grandpa will also attain rebirth in the pure land so I hope all my family members could go to the pure land so I hope more beings in the world can hear the name of Amitabha Buddha and attain rebirth in Amitabha Buddha's pure land to realize our own Buddha nature, which is even the light and life. Namo Buddhaya, Namo Amitabhaya.